first one, the first installation I'd like to talk about is the installation that is here in the museum, Light and Present in the Belly of the Web. Um, it was first uh, uh, created uh, in Paris in 2002. And uh, with this uh, installation, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, music and how it comes into being. I use uh, what I like to call frozen concerts. I um, recorded specific music from different concerts, put them together in a collage. And what's very important um, for me was to find a form of dialogue with Rebecca and an instrumentation or a voice that moved around the space. And I searched for a long time for a sound or a possibility I could use to create a movement within the space. I don't need to talk so much about the um, artwork itself and the kinetic aspects of the piece. To make a long story short, um, even though I come from a very different type of music, I'm uh, trained as a jazz musician. I uh, developed a technique uh, called overtone singing. And uh, before I talk about that, I'm simply going to sing it to you. This is a type of singing that's not new. Um, in many different forms, it's used in uh, Central Asia, in Altai, mountains, Mongolia, and so on. Um, I've tried, I took this technique for a very simple reason, and that's because uh, I found that the overtones have a life of their own within the space. say around this piece, Universe in a Pearl, um, what uh, was also created out of a poem, um, I ordered oyster shells. And I think this was a tremendous problem here in, in Rio in the moment to find oysters. Maybe it's a time so there or There is something. a flood. There's a flood yeah. in Santa Catarina where the oysters come from, so they're not getting any oysters. Exactly. So, so, the, around the, to, to, to have this here, there would be oyster shells around the piece, but we couldn't find them. So that's. Uh, but normally, um, around the sculpture is always this uh, a kind of natural circle of protection and of um, transforming 
the idea with, with some material from here. And we couldn't find the oysters, so we have to live with this. <laughs> Total beginning is always words, is a text and is a sketch and, a, and in the end maybe it becomes a poem and, um, and from there I go and then you know the space and with the space you know the measurements and the energy in the space for outdoor, we talked about Napoli or we talked about um, a Nazi tower or you have a museum, whatever it is. You have to find the right energy in the space where the pieces will be or where you construct something. And in this talking, Hayden is somehow involved, involved. And then for these pieces, we, we disappear norm normally in a place and we talk and try out certain things and then it develops slowly. So it's also an alchemistic process, you know. And this alchemistic process, you never analyze. You just do it. <laughs> In a way that you don't tell your secrets, you know. It's very important. <laughs> I just want to say, um, it depends where you go, what you find, and how you start to deal and transform things.